Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use and customize the Fitbit Lux Goriana bracelet. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. If you're someone who just got your new Fitbit Lux and you wanna know how to change the links on here, you know, if you wanna either take off or put some on to make it shorter or longer, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And if you guys do wanna see an unboxing on that, you can head to the video coming up on the top right when you're done watching this. All right guys, so when you take it out of the package for the first time, it comes just like this with everything attached. So this is the full length of the bracelet that you're going to see. So there are actually four different removable links on this bracelet here. And I've gone ahead and put on screen the five different measured lengths of this bracelet. So when you take off one to four of the links, or if you have it full length for you guys. For my wrist, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when I put it on full length. And my wrist is seven inches, guys. So you can see there's a little bit of overlap here. It's a little bit big. I personally kind of like this. It's kind of like a more casual, dangly um, feeling. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is attach one end of your band to the Fitbit Lux. This is gonna help you from getting confused when you take them off and put them back on because you wanna make sure that you're putting it on upright and not upside down. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to find the removable links here. So what you're gonna do is take your Fitbit Lux and turn it upside down. So we can see that there's parts with latches in the middle here. So there's four different removable areas here. And the only part that has to stay on is this part right here with the Fitbit and Goriana logo. So, you know, the bracelet can connect. Now that we've found them, we can go ahead and take them off. So for my wrist, which is seven inches, I prefer to take off just two of the links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of these removable parts. Once again, you know, flip it over to make sure that you find out where they are. Pick one of them. I'm just gonna pick the furthest one right here. And you are going to see that there is a little latch on the back, we're not going here. We're going to the front part. So with this part right here, we're just gonna take our nail and lift it up. And it unhooks. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Take our nail, lift it up. And you do have to apply a little bit of force to get it to unhook, guys. So that's one removed. And now we're removing the second one right here. So we're gonna go over and kind of in sequence, do the same thing. Take our nail and lift it up on this side. All right, so two of them are removed. Now we're gonna grab the remaining part of the bracelet and we're gonna add it back in. So you just make sure that this is flicked up and you're gonna line up the little hole with the little kind of line of the bracelet here, the link, put that in and then push it down. And there's a little click when it's in place. And if you guys like this video and you're finding it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Or you'd really help my channel grow and allow me to keep making more videos for you. So now this is the length of the bracelet with two of the little removable links taken off. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like on my wrist. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on my wrist when we have the two links taken off. And there's no kind of looseness, no dangling that we saw before. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add one more on so you can see what it looks like with three. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on my wrist with three of the links on and just one off. So there's just a little bit of looseness here. It's kind of loose enough that it can go, you know, move around a little bit. It's not as tight as it was before. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to put them back on. So we're gonna go over to the part with the Fitbit logo right here, flip that up. So we're gonna put it in, snap that in, and just coming up a little closer for the final time. So you're gonna go ahead, lift this up, and we're gonna align it up and then we press it down. All right guys, so I'm also gonna be coming out with setup video and a full review video on the Fitbit Lux on a Tech Tuesday coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If there's anything I missed that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.